Welcome to Vlogmas Day. Yes, it's another sit down Vlogmas video, but it's different because I've never done something like this. But basically, this is the A to Z project pan. It was created by Jessica and Amanda, but for me, I'm only doing eyeshadows and it's a year long. And yes, I'm posting this on December 10th, but I don't plan on using these shades until the new year because I'm going on a trip throughout December so I'm not going to be here to even use them and I don't really want to use them right now either so this is just the intro and then I'll update y'all on February 1st is when I'll give y'all my first update so basically what the A to Z project pan is shoes for me under eyeshadows I'm gonna have different eyeshadows and like eyeshadows will start with the letters so it'll be like B the eyeshadow start with the B it'll be like D the eyeshadow start with the D and then basically you're supposed to use 26 eyeshadows up but I'm gonna try and hit pan in all 26 eyeshadows I also didn't just choose like old eyeshadows i've been buying a lot of new eyeshadows and i actually want to use those too i'm panning new and old for the letter a i'm going in the morphe 35t palette for another round which is this pink shade here watch them off for y'all it just looks like this really like pink shimmer shade and i really like pinks but it's a new shade and i haven't really used it for b i'm using the wet n wild ohana stitch collection one then the shade be wild this shade and it's a glitter actually. I really like glitters too. So I'm pretty sure I'll be able to hit pan because I use glitters like basically every single day. It just looks like that. Then I have the chocolate gold bar palette. I don't really use this palette much, which is why I'm trying to pan it. For C, I'm using classy and sassy. It's just a rose gold. For D, I'm using the Daisy Marquez palette called Daisy, which is this like mint blue teal. It just looks like that. And I don't normally wear blue, so this is gonna be quite difficult. For E, I'm going in the Prism palette, favorite ABH palette, Eternal. It already has like quite a good like in it it just looks like this it's just like a coppery shade for f i have my distortion palette first offense is this orange shade and honestly i've never used i've only been using these rows i haven't touched the back row so this is basically like a brand new shadow and it's just like orange and i feel like it would work best with that shade that i just showed y'all for g i'm using the mean girls palette by storybook gruel because it's like this pretty green and i really like greens now it's also basically brand new i have barely even used this and it looks like that and this could be like a good lid or like inner corner for h it's gonna be a little controversial but I'm using the Best Life palette and I'm using Holiday which honestly I use already right now for my eyebrows every single day but I might as well like pan it. This is my cheap pan basically because I know I'm gonna pan it eventually. I pan blacks really easily because I use them for my eyebrows and I've been using this one specifically for my eyebrows too so it already has a dip. I'm trying to like help myself out in continuing this project pan so I want to at least pan something. It's just this holiday shade and it's black and it already has like quite a dip because I literally use it every single day. It's just a black. For I, I'm going back into the Daisy Marquez palette. I see, which is this like white shade. Just this like white right here. A good inner corner highlight. I don't know. I don't normally use whites all too much. For J, I'm going to be using the Profusion Mean Girls palette. Yes, I'm using both my Mean Girls palette. And I'm going to be painting the shade Jealous. And I've used this like two times. Two times and it already gave me that dip. Oh, it's really creamy. And I just covered up the pan basically with it. Is it really creamy? For K, I'm going to be using the Fruity Smoothie by the Creme Shop. Kiwi, which is just this green this is also brand new a good like inner corner highlight if i do like green matte look for l i'm also using the daisy marquez palette shade lucid which is this purple shade and i've used it quite a bit so it kind of has like a good enough dent again really like purples greens and pink for m i'm going back into the chocolate bar palette it'll be taking the shade money bags which is this green up here and again i've never used this green so it's brand new okay it's really still like smooth maybe i'll use this like under my eye or like to deepen creases and stuff for n i'm going to my subculture palette new wave which is just the, like mustardy yellow and i really like yellows too i get out the awful swap let me do that again it's just like a good like yellow transition to like orange or something like that i feel like that and like first offense and like those new shades that will like complement each other good not me trying to act like i know shades if it sounds like i don't know what i'm talking about you're right i don't know what i'm talking about or oh we're going back into the prison palette city and because it's black and again, I really like blacks, and I feel like I could finish two blacks to next year. This one's more like powdery, so this will be easier to pan. For P, we're going to the Sweet Peach palette. My Sweet Peach palette is really old, and the scent is starting to go away. And if the scent is going away, now you know it's really old. So I'm going in the shade Fury Brown Transition Shade. It already has a dip, so this should be easier to pan, but it's hard pressed, so I don't really know. It's like a good brown. For Q, I'm going in my Jaclyn Hills palette, and I'll be taking the shade Queen. It's like a gold. And it already has like a dip, so it should be easier to pan also. This is the only Q I found in my whole collection, so I had to use it. For R, I'm going in the 35 Eye Palette. We're going to take the shade Rosy Haze, which is just like this like cream. It's just like a cream pink, and I've used it quite a bit before. It's really like, I don't know how to explain it. It's like a pretty pink purple, but it's really like mushy. Like it's putty kind of. And then in the same palette, we're going to go with Spellbinding for S, which is this shade up here, and it's like a purple. Also use it quite a bit, and this is like 
good inner corner for like a purple look. For tea, I'm going back into the prism palette and we're gonna be using this shade Throne. It's this like green shade and it does have a dip already and it just looks like this. It's really dark. I feel like this on like using a black underneath it and this on top of your lid. For you, I'm taking the Milani Ungilded Most Loved Mattes palette and using the shade Umber the Sun, which is like my favorite shade already. So that's why I chose it. It's just another good brown transition, everyday crease color. I don't know, I really like this palette, so I wanted to use it. For V, I'm back in the Best Life palette. Vacation, this purpley shimmery shade here. I have never used this shade either, so it's brand new. And it just looks like that. That looks like a good under eye moment. <laughs> Bless me. For W, I'm using the Pinks and Palms palette and I'm using the shade WT Fuchsia, which I believe is this shade here. And it's just like a shimmery pink. It already has like quite a dip. Again, I can use this to like deepen out a pink look or something. Now for X, I didn't have a palette that started with X, so I just like chose an eyeshadow that had an X in it. And so I got the Fade into Hue palette and it is called Express and it's just like another shimmery purple it has a dip already but i think i use it like twice so this should be easier to paint and this is just like a good inner corner highlight or something or like a good lid shade because it's so pigmented for a while i also didn't have like an actual shade name i took the zulu palette and i'm just gonna paint the yellow because why yellow you know there's no names anyways and this yellow has quite a good amount of usage like it has a dip in everything but juvia's place palettes take so long to paint especially because you're a bigger pan so i don't even know this might take me all year honestly yeah, it's just a good yellow transition shade you know i love putting yellows and like light pink as my transition shade and then like go for any other shade and for z the last shade for this project pan is back in the fade into you palette and we're using the shade zygus i don't know it's just this purple shade down here it just looks like that so those are the 26 eyeshadows that i'll be using yes there's in like a whole bunch of eyeshadow palettes i don't even know i believe there's like over 10 palettes here but it's okay as long as i'm using all my eyeshadows that's all that matters to me i don't care that there are 10 separate palettes trust me i use like five different palettes for like an everyday look so i'm fine with that as like an extra throw in that i do want to pan this year i have my modern renaissance palette and i really want to finish all these shades so I have finished Tempura, Golden Ochre, Burnt Orange, Primavera, Venetian Red, and Railgar. I want to finish this this year because after I finish with this, I'm throwing away this palette. I hate this palette. I don't want to see this ever again. Even though it's my first palette, that's why I have so many pans on it. But yeah, I just want to get rid of it. My whole packaging is falling apart. Like, this needs to be thrown away. And then once I finish that, because obviously I'm going to finish that white soon, I'm guessing. I have the Desert Dust palette that I also want to pan. It feels really dry, so I want to use it up. And it just looks like this. I want to use it as much as I can. I don't have any like specific goals. For the month of January, I want to use all of these shades at least one time. But I'm going to give myself that. All these shades at least one time, including my A to Z pan. For my modern renaissance, I want to finish I want to finish Vermeer and Cypress Umbar. Those are the two that I want to finish. I'm going to update y'all in February 1st to see if I accomplished any goals. So hopefully this video was alright. I gave like enough information that I could. If you have any more questions, you can comment down below. But I'll see you guys tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 10.